In the book of Genesis chapter 12 verse 1, Genesis chapter 12 verse 1, the Bible says, Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show you, unto a land that I will show you. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, Oh God, my Father, push me to my divine location. In the name of Jesus, Oh God, my Father, push me to my divine location. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Oh God, my Father, push me to my divine location. 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 In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. Hello viewers across the world. You're watching Evangelist Joshua TV. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, can you subscribe today? We are looking on a topic. Why God wants you to change your present location? Why God wants you to change your present location? Your location determines your location. Your location determines your output. And your result in life. The Bible says, God has a good plan for you. And for God's plan to manifest in your life, you must be rightly placed in that location. Before God can fulfill his purpose in your life, you must be in the right location. You must be in the right house. You can also be in the right environment. Praise the name of the Lord. There is power in location. Location can either attract the blessings of God or it can attract causes into your life. What makes a location good or bad? The people, the culture, the tradition, the belief system, the negative forces, the positive sources that operate in that environment. Praise the name of the Lord. When God placed Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, that Garden of Eden was their rightful location. But along the line, the devil pushed them away from the Garden of Eden to a location where devil will torment them, where devil will deceive them, where devil will convince them, where devil will scam them and mislead them. The same story say happens to Jonah. God wants Jonah to preach the gospel of Christ in the city of Nineveh. Let's assume the city of Nineveh was the location God has ordained for Jonah. Jonah said, no, 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 God, I'm not going to that location. That location is not convenient for me. I, I have issues with some people in that location. I can't go there. Let me go to my own location. I am comfortable in this location. God said, no. When God wants to bring you out from that location, sometimes it will come in full force, in war. God had to say, no, because of that, you disobey me. I have to cause the storm to push the boat, the ship. I have to summon the people in the boat to push you into the water where fish or whale will swallow you for some days. Right in the belly of the fish, Mr. Jonah was praying to God, God, forgive me of my sin. Have mercy upon me. And God has to use whale to push that man in that location. I pray for you today. Every power that does not want you to go to that location where God has ordained for you. Let that power die in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you in the right location today? Or you are operating, or you are living, or you are domiciled in the wrong location? It is very easy to know or to recognize whether you are in the right location or not. So we are going to explain the reasons and we are going to tell you why God wants you. And I'm going to tell you why God wants to change your location to the right location. You have to relocate to the right location. Are you happy in that right location? Are you fulfilling your destiny in that right location? Are you moving forward? Are you enjoying the presence of God in that right location? But you notice that you are in the wrong location. In that wrong location, is full of misfortunes. It's full of battles, challenges, and obstacles. I pray the Lord Almighty will deliver you in Jesus' name.
Brethren across the world, location is very important in destiny fulfillment. Your location can either attract the angels of God or attract the angels of Satan. One of the first signs to know that you are in the right location is peace. And one of the first signs to know that you are in a wrong location is trouble. You may be in a wrong location and still be progressing, but no good health. You may be in a wrong location and you are making progress, but no joy, no satisfaction, no peace in your life. When you are in a right location, you will enjoy divine visitation. You will enjoy God's intervention in your life. When you are in the right location, people in that environment will favor you. When you are in the right location, you will be easily see many opportunities that are bound to you in that environment. When you are in the right location, that difficulty you are passing through will be resolved amicably. When you are in the right location, your prayer will be answered. When you are in the right location, you will easily fulfill your destiny. When you are in the right location, God is able to wipe away your tears. May God wipe away your tears in Jesus' name. No matter how beautiful or ugly a house is, when God tells you, my son, my daughter, it is time for you to move out or pack out of this rented apartment or change your present location, then that signs means that God has finished his contract blessings with you in that house. One of the reasons why God wants you to change your present location is because he has provided a bigger opportunity locking somewhere. So you have to pray for God to show you that location, that environment, that street he wants you, you know, to live. And sometimes God may even allow demons, allow your enemies, even allow your landlord, your landlady, to trouble you in the wrong location so that you'll be inconvenienced in that house in order for you to pack out from that house. The trouble, the attack, or the conflict you are experiencing between you and some of your neighbors or between you and the landlord could have been allowed by God so that you can leave that environment just like God has to allow demons or Satan to trouble Job. I pray may God Almighty provide for you financially in order to move away or pack out from that wrong location so that you can be relocated to the right place where you will fulfill your destiny in Jesus' name. I want you to know this. A house can be good for other neighbors, but the house cannot be good for you or the house cannot be compatible with your destiny. In a particular house, many people can be progressing, succeeding, or many of the neighbors are buying cars. But why is your own different from among the neighbors? Many things could have happened, or many things could have been the reasons. One of them is that you are not in the right place. Those people are in the right location, but you as a person, that is not the place God has designed for you to carry out your assignment or to fulfill your destiny. People will say this is a house of blessing. Anyone that comes here will progress. No. It is only God that creates that room for people to get blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. I have seen some houses whereby a person will enter that house. It is only that person will be experiencing poverty and misery. Other neighbors will be experiencing a kind of growth in their life. What is the issue? It is either the room the rented apartment could not be incompatible with your destiny. And God may be telling you to move out or to pack out from that environment or from that room. God wants to change your present location. God wants to relocate you to another location in order to wipe away your tears. God could be trying his effort to wipe away your tears in that wrong environment. But the moment is wiping away your tears, it is that time those principalities, those wickedness will be adding troubles into your life. 
The angel will say, no, 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 no. You can't continue to be wiping away your tears. And these powers from nowhere begin to make you cry again. So it is better for we to create that environment, that opportunity for you to come out from that environment, from that house. God wants to relocate you because you have many conspirators in that location where you are. Conspirators. Conspiracy. They just hated you for no reason. Rejection. Quarrels. Monetary spirit. You're not organized in that environment. And God may be saying, no, it's time for we to relocate you to another environment. I want you to know this. When God asks you to move out or to pack out of that house, it will surely lead you to the right environment, to the right location, to the right house. That's the beauty part about God. God cannot push you out of that environment and take you to the wrong environment. It can never happen. That is why you need to pray and let God lead you through. When you are in the right location with the right people, the best come out of you easily. The hidden virtues comes out of you easily because you are with the right people in the right environment. Praise the name of the Lord. People will be eager to help you. You will get opportunity, marital opportunity, financial breakthrough, industrial location, getting your deliverance, your healing. Your source will be linked to that right location. Praise the name of the Lord. In our opening scripture, God had to tell Abraham, Abraham, it's time for you to leave your father's house. Because in your father's house, your destiny has been buried. God says, Abraham, come out of your father's house. I'm going to show you a land, a land filled with milk and honey. And as from today, you shall be a blessing to many generations. Prophecy, the word of God came. It's time for you to move out of that environment. Listen to this. When God tells you to move out of that environment, from that house or location, it will use some people financially to help you out from that condition. God has to use some people to support you financially, to come out. In that environment, in that location, no growth in your life. Every day is tears. Every day is battle. You have never recorded my blowing testimony in that house. Anytime your child falls sick, you start jumping from one hospital to the other. Wrong location. Being in a wrong location does not mean that other neighbors or other tenants they are also in the wrong location. That house could be their own right location. Praise the name of the Lord. They always say that, they say a man's favorite food could be another man's poison. Prayerfully ask God to show you the right way to go. When God wants to relocate you, you will definitely know in your dreams. God will speak to you in your dreams. Or you will see yourself parking away from a particular house to the another. Or you are seeing yourself looking for a house to rent. God will also show you in his word, the word of God. God will also use his prophet to confirm these things to you. May God Almighty relocate you to the right place in the name of Jesus. Your location determines your success in life. Your location determines how far you will go in life. A woman who has been believing unto God for marital breakthrough in a particular location for years, Nothing happened. But the moment that woman leave that apartment to another apartment, that woman does that woman did not even spend close to three months. She got pregnant. Something could be hindering your blessings in that wrong location. Some people could be working against you in that wrong location. But that does not mean in the right location there are no bad people. That does not mean in the right location there are no wicked people. Praise the name of the Lord. There are some people. I know of a man, anytime he wants to look for a house, he does not look for a house that is very noisy, the environment that is not noisy. He always looks for a house where the street is enclosed, like, like what we have, a, this is a, a closed street, where no, uh, no vehicles are passing 
in that environment. That could be his own right location. Locate your right location today. And the Lord Almighty will reveal it to you in Jesus' name. I want you to close your eyes. Take prayer upon number one loud and clear. Angels of my breakthrough, locate me in the name of Jesus. Angels of my breakthrough, locate me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Angels of my breakthrough, locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Angels of my breakthrough, locate me in Jesus' name. Two, my Father, connect me to my divine locations. In the name of Jesus, my Father, connect me to my divine locations. Connect me to my divine locations. Connect me to my divine location. My Father, my Father, connect me to my divine locations. In Jesus' name. Three, wicked powers of my household be disgraced by fire. In the name of Jesus, wicked powers of my household be disgraced by fire. Be disgraced by fire. Wicked power of my household be disgraced by fire. Be disgraced by fire. In Jesus' name. Four, every power waging war against my testimony in this house. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power waging war against my testimony in this house. Die, die, die in the name of Jesus. Every power waging war against my testimony in this house. Die, die, die. Open your mouth and pray. Every power waging war against my testimony in this house. Die in Jesus' name it is done. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. This is Evangelist Joshua Oreke. God bless you. <laughs>